Welcome to Channel 2 News. We are going to be talking about medieval manners in Europe today. Let's go to Logan about that. Hi, I'm here with Paco. Hi, so I am Paco, but my friends call me Tacos. Do you know anything about medieval manners? Yeah, man. Can you tell us? Well, it's not like I have a girlfriend or anything so sure. Okay, so what are some? Well, most of the medieval society was based on a network of formal personal relationships of honor and fiddly between the king and his lords. Oh, how interesting. Thanks, Paco. Now back to you, Paige and Elizabeth. Thank you for that, Paco. That was so touching. Not really. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I'll be back. Okay, well, she gets a hold of herself. I might as well tell you some facts. The life of the lady of the manor was often misunderstood. The law gave the husbands full rights over their wives. While the wife's husband was absent, she had to run the manor. Okay, I think I got a hold of <gasps> Oh my gosh, are you okay? Ow, no, I hurt my eye. All right, let's go to Logan. Ow, Paco, stop! Never! Oh, uh, guys, you're live. Oh, hi, we're back with Paco here. Yeah, man. So, Paco, do you want to tell them what you told me? No, man. Fine, I will tell them. Okay, shorty, knock yourself out. A typical manor would include a manor house, which was built apart from the village where the peasants lived. Keep on going, little dude. Knock yourself out again. Castles were part of the manor. The land around it was part of the manor, too. No. Yeah, yeah. Can't yeah. get the microphone. Okay. Manors were built of natural stone, and they were also built to last. Yeah, okay. Give me back the microphone. No, man. Just give me the microphone. No. No. Where? Oh. And the lady of the manor officially became the Lord's property. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you missed me. Back to you, Paige Elizabeth. Oh, I did. Oh, sorry, I didn't start. Thank you, Paco and Logan, for that. Um, okay. I, I think my eye's better now. Oh, where's my chair? Oh, there it is. Well, hello. What do you want for Christmas? What? You know, never mind. Paige, you're... Elizabeth, I'm reading. But... No, stop. I'm trying to read. A manor was a district over which a lord had domain and could exercise certain rights and privileges in medieval England. You done now? Yes, yes I am. Well, can you get off me? Elizabeth, I'm not on you. Yes, you are. Oh, oops. Okay. I'm in, in medieval feudalism. A fief was a vassal source of income granted to him by his lord in exchange for his services. Also, fees you, fees usually consisted of land in the labor of peasants to cultivate it. The income the fief provided and supported the vassal who fought for his lord as a knight. Why don't we go to Paco for some more facts? And Logan. Oh, and Logan. Um, Paco, stop biting me! Oh, you taste disgusting! Someone stop biting me! Never! Well, that was interesting. I guess so. Well, medieval peasants lived in wattle and dove huts. And the, life of, and the lady of the manor's rule was often perceived as a, undertaking subservience and housewife duties. Ha! <laughs> he said duties. Page. <laughs> anyway, the Lord's absences were frequent because he was expected to pay his land, pay for his land, and by giving allegiance to his king and immediate superiors and providing services of himself and his vassals as fully equipped and trained, and trained soldiers. 
A member of the lowest feudal class attached to the land owned by a lord and required to perform labor in return for certain legal or customary rights. Well, that's a wrap. We'll see you next time on Channel 2 News. Our resources are middleagers.org slash p, manners, lord of the manor, and answers.com. 